<laughs> Welcome back to the Fox Studios here. The Orpheum tonight, it's sold out. Allison Chains joining us in studio. Uh, Sean Kinney to my left and Jerry Cantrell even further left over That's there. That's right. So, uh, left winger. You know, I'm way more of a pinko. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, let me ask you this, guys. Uh, you went through it, I guess, about a year and a half ago, two years ago. What do you think of uh, Soundgarden giving it another go? I'm still not. I mean, I hear a lot of rumors, and I'm yeah. not sure that that's going to happen. I mean, those guys are all friends of ours, and of course, we we admire them. I love I love Soundgarden, yeah, so I would, I would. That's a show I would definitely dig to go see. Well, you you could go to Soundgarden.com, uh, be in the world that it is today, and you could sign up, and you would get you know updates on what was going on. So I signed up, and I just got a note actually last week saying, "Hey, from you know Chris Kim," and and it just basically said, "Hang on, there's going to be something real soon." So, wow. Yeah. yeah, I know okay. they're working on like a box set, and there's a bunch of rarity tunes and uh, getting some merch going and stuff like that. I but. think they're a little concerned about doing a new album, though. Um, and you know, obviously, it was probably a concern for you. I can't put words into your mouth, and I'm not trying to, but it, mm. it was probably a concern for you guys at first. What made it feel right well, and good enough to uh, do it? I think it's a case by case scenario. I mean, I mean that's you know, a different I mean, situation. I mean, we we had yeah. a way huger hurdle. We lost, <laughs> we lost a, our <laughs> yeah. friend and absolutely and stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's just the original guys. I mean, if 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 our case was you know Lane had survived and we got together, we. It, you know, it would have been a whole different thing. We wouldn't have to work as hard and everything, you know. It would be a completely different deal, you know. Mm -hmm. But we took yeah. on the challenge just as it kept presenting itself and we felt okay with it, you know. And that actually became, like, sort of the driving force for me, too. It's like, you know, okay, you know, turning people around, you know, people don't want to accept change and, and deal with it. They all have their opinions on it and, and uh, just just every night, you know, having people showing up going like, oh, this mm. can't happen, you know, and, then, the they leave, and then they leave and they're like, oh, God, thanks. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like that, that's, and that's, that, that's, that's actually happening. a bigger challenge than, but before, than just showing up and, and you know, yeah. it would be so much easier if, you know, it was yeah. the other way. So. And before all of that, we just did it for us, you know, we did what we felt was right and mm -hmm. those guys are probably doing what feels right for them. That's why they were the band that they were and that we kind of all, we kind of came from a, we came from a town, and we came from a uh, you know a, a city that had a, such a great musical contribution, you know, and and that was kind of like the ethos, if you will, you know, do mm -hmm. your own thing, you know, and and uh, and you know, your individuality was was a prized thing, you know. So, yeah, I'd like to see them do some shows. I mean, that yeah, all of them, you know, Ben and Matt and Kim played a at a club. I'm involved with Tad singing. Crocodile the, Cafe. The Crocodile Cafe. Seattle, Washington, <laughs> Washington, Seattle, come on down. <laughs> Self-promotion douche. Shameless, I love it. Shameless self-promotion douche. But no, they, they, we got them together to play there, and they jammed, and that's that kind of sparked some stuff. And it was really I wish cool. I would have seen it. Yeah, that. it was really fun, and they, they were digging it. You know, Kim was all freaked out. And, <laughs> oh, he was but all freaked out. Yeah, but at, it's the end, at the end, you know, you could see how excited and how cool it was, you know. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh... So that was really nice. And it, since then, I was thinking, oh, these guys are creeping towards maybe playing a show. So I, I definitely see them, if they do, playing some shows. I don't know if they'd make a record. Okay. Really. There's a couple of people waiting waiting online, and we're going we're gonna to talk to them in a sec. Uh, just quickly, what, what did uh, when you originally started doing this again uh, and brought Allison Chains back and, and brought William in, what was, uh, uh, and maybe I'm uh, out of line here by yeah, asking this. Yeah, you're out of line. No, Definitely please tell me if I am. But what was, what was Lane's family's reaction to, to uh, your decision to... Um, to, to try again to do to do more under the uh, moniker <laughs> Allison Chains there. Your decision, the sex, second second uh, <laughs> from Black as Way to Blue. No, they're cool with it, man. They're like our family. They, uh, yeah. they're very supportive and yeah. everything. I mean, and you know, and and the day our record came out, I got you know, Phil called me, Lane's dad, and he's like, man, I'm, I got to tell you, I feel like a fucking, uh, I feel like a proud <laughs> papa, you know, I right. feel like a proud dad. Yeah, you I know? just got a and, message and from Lane's mom last night. Totally, she you was. Know? So you know. it's there, it's. You know, it's it's a tough thing, you know, but that's that's his family, and uh, you know, and they're part of our family they're, too. They're part yeah, of our yeah. family, yeah. and everything, and vice cool. versa, obviously. Sure. Yeah, but, it, but it's definitely it's you know, it's it's a different element for both of us. I mean, that's it's you know, much more personal for them the loss, obviously. But Absolutely. you know, we spent a great deal of our we're we're kind of we're we're forever intertwined, and they're they're always at the shows, and you know, we we support. Uh, 
we support Lan uh, Nancy's, you know, foundation for Lane and and uh, and and the whole family. They're always kind of a part of our our thing, yeah. you know. Cool. That's the kind of band we are. It's not like you had cool. to get a blessing or kiss a ring. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. What, I think that's where no, people no, no. get kind of weird, no, no. like, oh, God, did they no, like no. you? you know, Sean, we were, we're yeah. in business, you know, it was our band. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. And, and that's, like my, that's like me not being in the band and my mom, like, calling shots, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, 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 obviously. Obviously. You know, it's like, what did Big Cheryl say? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, everything's really cool. We've always gotten along great, and, yeah, you know. Fair enough. very family-oriented deal with all of our families yeah. we've been i mean we've been doing this for 20 something years i don't want to get start dating i, I just mm. did i dated ourselves yeah. it's been yeah. a long time <laughs> yeah. so, you know we've spent the majority more than half our lives together so, yeah of we all know each other's folks yeah. quite well yeah, yeah. yeah. we all get along <laughs> really well there's no yeah. weird schism anywhere so. right yeah. 